everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Sydney, and I'm about to do a Zara haul. I've not done a Zara haul on this channel at all. I, I've done a little haul within videos. Actually, I've done a couple of little hauls within videos, but I've not actually done like a dedicated sit down haul, try on haul. So I thought best way to do it is start with a Zara and kind of just find my feet again with it. I've even been sat here like, what way do I want to do this haul? I think I'm going to start by just sitting down, going through everything and seeing if that works best for me. It might be a case where this is trial and error and the next haul you see, I might be stood up, who knows? But yeah, I've got the box here, it's pretty heavy. I'll show you how big it is. Okay, here is the box. It is very big. I can't lie to you, I've done some damage. I did spend £650, but I do not plan to keep the majority of this. I want to go through it with you all. I've not even opened it and we're going to decide together. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to start a video, what other hauls you'd like me to do and also what pieces you think I should be putting in my wardrobe and what pieces you think I should be sending right back. Right, I did order this stuff a little while ago now. I've just been finding the right time to film this so I can't even really remember what's in here. I can remember the odd thing but personally I like to watch Zara hauls where the clothes are styled. I feel like it's really helpful to see things put with other items of clothing. I have specifically tried to style Zara pieces together which are from the new in for ease and there's nothing more annoying when you watch a haul and the thing you like is no longer in stock. The odd thing I might pull out my wardrobe just to show you how you can style it but I will link similar things down below or the exact thing if I can find it. Okay, so for the purpose of the haul, I've moved to the side slightly just so I can put clips here of me trying on the clothes as I'm talking. I've just gone through everything, laid it all out, and there is a lot. So grab a cup of tea, press pause quickly, go and grab some washing to fold because we've got quite a lot to get through. I've got quite a big mix as well. I've got some dressy things, some super chill things. There's a big mix, actually. But one thing I've tried to keep in common is the autumnal theme. I've tried not to go for anything too bright there is the odd bright thing in there nothing too summery even though that is very very hard for me i'm a summer baby through and through but i've pulled in the reins i've stayed quite autumnal there's also the odd little nod towards christmas but you'll see that anyway but before we get started please subscribe if you haven't already and also at the end please do give this a thumbs up if you enjoy it everything will be linked in the description also disclaimer at this point i haven't tried any of the stuff on so in the video clips i'll either be like thumbs up or no or maybe I'm not sure you guys tell me but this looks on real off I'm really hoping this looks good because this could be a really nice moment leading up to winter so looking at this first off the quality is insane it is so soft I've gone for a size medium in the blazer and a size medium in the trousers I'm not sure why I didn't go for a large I do tend to go oversized for my blazers but maybe it's because I've got trousers, I can't really remember to be honest. But I love this, the kind of midnight colour. It's also got like a really faint stripe to the material, if you can see. I'm obsessed with this. I was about to say, wow, this is insane for Zara, but the price does say so. This blazer is $89.99 and the trousers are $59.99. So I definitely say this is one of Zara's high-end pieces. But I definitely grab this for something quite special. Maybe like a wedding or a party, a work event. And then you could also style the blazer at a later date. Style the trousers separately and get your money's worth out of these things. But first glance, I absolutely love this set. It looks phenomenal, so fingers crossed. I'm going to try and do dressy more casual, dressy, more casual, so there's a big mix in case some of you don't want one or the other. This next one is my bright thing, so don't worry. This is all I've got that's bright. I actually saw this tracksuit on someone the other day when I was at a photo shoot and it looked amazing on her, so I'm really glad that I picked this up. Not that I need any more tracksuits, but Zara tracksuit's always good fun. The only thing I'm a bit concerned about is this jumper looks quite cropped and I don't really do cropped jumpers. But we will have to see when I try this on. I'm not sure. Maybe it will go. But I'm quite tall. I got the jumper in a medium. And the joggers in a medium also. Joggers are $15.95. And the jumper doesn't say. Sorry, guys. I do feel like Zara tracksuits aren't the best quality in the world. 
but I feel like the price reflects that. It is a tracksuit that you can kind of wear for a few months and then maybe trade it in, but it is nice to have it a little bit thinner if you do want to wear a thicker jacket. But this colour is absolutely everything. I'm so here for the green still. I'm never going to be over green. <laughs> okay, now time for something a little bit more dressy. Georgia has this. So I had already seen this. I had this in my mind when I saw it on the website. I was a little shocked that it was still online. Maybe people aren't here for the glitzy green. I know I am like you just heard. I do love green. I like that it's just a simple shift dress. There's no shape to it really. There's the cow neck and then does it drop at the back? It drops ever so slightly at the back. I feel like this dress is very sophisticated. It's nice quality and I just love this. This is my little nod to Christmas. The Grinch vibes, I'm here for it. This dress also, yeah, I was gonna say is very well priced. I was just gonna double check, $29.99. I feel like this is a dress that you could keep for a very long time. I'm also really here for the knot detail on the straps, very cute. I also got this in a size medium. So next up, I have a set from the Limitless Contour Collection. I feel like I have so much of this collection now, but it is amazing. I do love it so much. If you haven't got anything from the Contour Collection, I do recommend maybe start with one of the bodysuits or the t-shirts. You don't have to buy things as sets, but so comfortable, super high quality. You can see here, the rib is beautiful and it comes in a lot of colors. When it first came out, it came out in nude, black, and maybe brown, kind of like the Skims colours. But I really like the colours. This is a nice muted blue. This is my effort for autumn. It's not bright, it's a bit muted. And I thought this would look really nice with a gilet. This is where I'm going to be a bit annoying. I'm actually going to grab my gilet that I already had from Zara. But they always sell stuff like this. So I will link one in the description box if I can find it. Or I will link one from elsewhere. It's a cropped cap sleeve t-shirt with a round neck. And then high waisted leggings. This is super simple, but if it's styled correctly, you can look like you know exactly what you're doing with fashion, trust me. So I got both of these in an extra small to small. I have had the medium to large in these, so it only comes in two sizes, but because it is so stretchy, you can get away with just like winging your size, I feel like, but I'm pretty sure this is the only size they had, so I'm gonna make it work. <laughs> okay, something a little different. I'm gonna show you a dressy pair of heels. I had to get them in this beautiful gold colour. I honestly cannot believe these heels. They deserve to be just on the side, like in a public area. As in, I don't even think I'm gonna put them in my wardrobe. I think I'm gonna put them in my lounge <laughs> because they are a work of art. They need like a little light above them so that they can just twinkle. These are a classic heel. This style will never ever date. One of my first ever pair of black heels from office was a point like this with a sling back. And to this day, one of the best shoes I've ever bought in my whole existence. These can be a little bit pricey. So these are $59.99, but I promise you, you'll be telling your kids about these heels. I'm so here for them. I love them so much. And these, you can wear through the summer, <laughs> winter, any month. So the next outfit isn't very me, but I really wanted to try it because one of the models on Zara was actually wearing this full set. And I thought with a nice jacket, I wasn't sure what at the time, maybe I'll have a look for my wardrobe and put it in the video here. I feel like it could be a moment. So I have these cream wide leg. I think they kind of go out a little bit at the bottom. I can't tell until I put them on. Um, they're stretchy lounge kind of trousers. Love the color. They do look like they might be a little bit see-through. Maybe not. We'll see. But they look super comfy. I love the colour. It's kind of like a buttery, creamy, yellowy colour. And then the model had it on with this top, which I've just realised is from the Limitless Contour Collection as well, which I did not realise. At least I know that this will be nice and stretchy on. But I do think these colours go really nicely. It's kind of like the khaki green and the cream. This is one of them outfits that I can't really figure out if I'm going to like it until I have it on. I definitely feel like it is screaming for a jacket or a really powerful pair of shoes. But I'm not sure at the moment. Individually, I can appreciate them both. But yeah, I'm not sure. They're not my favorite pieces out of everything I've got. This is probably the two things that are closest to going back so far. 
Just had to change my hairstyle, it's getting very hot. Next outfit could be dressed up or dressed down. I feel like the heels I just showed you would go really nice with this. And it's a really good example of just dressing something up with a good pair of heels. So I've got jeans. Now, I'm intrigued to try these on. I have a very confusing relationship with Zara jeans. I feel like I can find one good pair in like a five year span. And I'm like, wow, Zara jeans are the best. And then the next like 10 pair of jeans that I buy, I'm just not here for. Um, I can't tell, I'm gonna be honest, but just looking at these, I mean the shape looks kind of good. They look like they're gonna be low rise, which I'm not sure. They're a straight leg jean, which is my favorite style of jean. Nice color, they've got a nice amount of rips, but you'll have to wait until it's on the screen. I'm not sure about them. Right this second, we will see. And to style these jeans, I've put it with a little black crop top. I have a lot of Zara crop tops, which are my favorite, my ride or die, and they're always in kind of stretching material, either the limitless contour or just the normal silky kind of stretchy bodysuit material. But this is in the knitwear, which is obviously edging into the colder months. So I feel like this was essential. They had this in a lot of colors, but black is my go-to. Can't go wrong with this, 9.95. And I feel like a good simple top with jeans is always a must. And then I paired it with a black blazer, which don't be alarmed. I know it's just a black blazer, but this one drew me in because it's got pinstripe lining and the model had it rolled up so you can see the stripe and then you can see the lining inside, which is beautiful. This is 49.99. Their blazers do last forever. I have so many of their blazers, which I've had for years and years and years. I like this one because even though it's black and it's a staple and it's timeless, it does have that detail, which I love. So that's a very simple outfit, but I feel like it is very, very cool. And you could dress it up with heels, a pop of color with a bag, some nice big hoop earrings, really dramatic makeup, classic. So whilst the jeans are on, I've got a couple of random tops, which I thought would go really nicely with a simple pair of straight leg jeans. I saw this shirt and I loved it. I got it in a size medium, it's $29.99 and it's the most beautiful green color. It's like a deep sage and it's satin and it's got that ruched button down style, which I love. I feel like this style is really, really flattering, super feminine, sexy, and I just feel like this is a really good piece if you're in London all day or if you're going somewhere all day long, you maybe have lunch and then you've got hang around and you've got dinner plans. I always have stuff like that and I'm like, oh, I don't have a middle mark and this is a great, great middle bench. Even if you're going to work and maybe you've got a little day after. Okay, I have two more outfits to go. Hang in there, guys. So this next outfit is really simple, but I feel like it's really chic and could be really high fashion. I love this rib top. Like, I love it. The quality is insane. The label's ripped, but I think that says that it's 17 pounds, maybe 17.99. It is stunning. It feels really, really luxurious. Like, it could be designer, even though it's thin. You know that it is a really fine line, but I hope you know what I mean. It just feels like it's gonna wash really nicely, sit really nice on the body. I like that it's high neck. This is a really nice piece for the kind of transitional time run at the moment where there's some sunny days where it's quite warm and then there's days where it's quite cold. So you can literally just put a blazer on with this. I paired this with a pair of suit trousers. I love the trousers from Zara. I actually thought these were a little bit more gray online, but they've actually got quite a strong blue to them, like a tealy kind of color. If you're one of them people that's stuck in like a jean rut, Try and transition over to suit trousers because A, you'll be comfier, but B, they're much cooler sometimes, personally, I think. And C, they're just something that you can keep forever. So that's super casual with a nice jacket. I feel like a nice trench coat, finding the right color. Again, I am i did not know these were this blue, so I will see if there's anything I can style it with. I got both of these in a size medium as well. And then finally I have one more outfit. This does have a slight inch of summer to it, but I'm sorry, that just shows that I'm a summer baby. But I love this so much. How cute is this top? I'm so obsessed, literally so obsessed. It's got a tiny bit of like a glittery thread through it. I am pairing it with a blazer and some trousers, but the top, 
I'm gonna keep it till summer if it looks cute because this is everything. This is 19.95. I've got a size medium. The little cutout's really, really cute as well. I've got this beautiful camel colored trouser, straight leg. Oh, they look like they're gonna be kind of short. Maybe they're like a low rise. We will see, we will see, we will see. And then I feel like the obvious move was to get the matching blazer, which I'm not actually sure they had, but that's not what I wanted to do. I did want to add another color. You can see in the top, which is the base of the outfit, that there's so many colors in this. Yellows, dark greens, light greens, silvers. So I wanted to mix more of them colors in. Found this stunning blazer. This is beautiful. I did not have a blazer this color, which is weird because I do have most colors in blazers. This is like a beautiful sage green. And wow, sorry. These tie in together beautifully. I feel like these three shades, a color palette made in autumnal heaven. See, I do have autumn style with me. I really hope this looks as good as I pictured in my head. And just go through pricing. The blazer $79.99, I got that in a size large. Trousers are $29.99, I got them in a size medium. And that is everything. Looking at everything right here, right now, I'm really impressed. I'm really happy with everything that I picked up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope this gave you some outfit inspiration, some outfit ideas, some styling tips and tricks. If you'd like to see more of these videos, let me know. Like I said, if there's any particular brand you want me to dip into, if you want me to do another Zara video, because I did all of this stuff about two weeks ago now and the Zara turnaround is pretty quick. So I'm sure there's a lot more stuff on there. But again, thank you for watching. I love you guys. Please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video.